Hey guys, welcome back. Whether you're making a quick trip to the vet or driving a very long distance, I'm going to give you some pointers on how to travel with your bunny in the car. So first, ideally the safest place for your rabbit is in the back seat. However, if you do need to monitor your rabbit, placing them in the passenger seat shouldn't be a problem as long as they are inside of a crate or carrier. Do not let your rabbit ride without being inside of a crate or carrier. It can be very dangerous. Being in a car can cause your rabbit anxiety if they are not used to riding in one. Comfort your rabbit as much as possible by petting them and talking to them. If you have a passenger who can hold your rabbit and comfort them, even better. But if you are driving alone, remember to always pull over and park before tending to your rabbit. Your rabbit probably won't want to eat or drink during the car ride, but it is still vital to pack treats, hay, and water just in case. Be sure to turn down all loud music. Rabbits have very sensitive hearing and you don't want to scare them. I like to play classical music when Lennon is with me because she doesn't mind it. And be sure to roll up your windows too as outside noises can cause your rabbit discomfort. If it's really hot outside, turn on your AC to a reasonable temperature and point the air vents to your rabbit and if it's cold, provide them with heat. I had trouble finding a portable litter box, but I came across this collapsible dish pan instead, and it works great. I usually keep a bed and this litter box for Lennon in my trunk at all times. I throw some hay and litter into a bag, and voila, not much work. This dish pan easily fits into a suitcase or a backpack. No one would ever know you're carrying a litter box in your backpack. If you are driving a very long distance, it's important to give your bunny a potty break. As you can see, I just open up the bag with the hay and the litter already in it, and it's done. Once you've pulled over, under close supervision, let your bunny stretch and sniff around. No one likes being cooped up for a long time. Some bunnies are totally fine doing their business on the grass. However, most rabbits will require some sort of a pan. And lastly, I also like to pour some water into a bowl just in case she's thirsty. And it's a quick, easy cleanup. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back for our next video. Take care.